Hello students and good morning. So today I am going to give the simple questions for social study civics. So without losing the time, let's start the questions. Describe the role of gender and qualities in a society. Okay, write down any four discrimination against women in the society. Caste uh, can take various forms. In politics, describe any four forms and describe the influence of politics on the caste system. Is the ideology basis of communalism flawed? Substitute your views. Discuss the political expression of the communalism. Then, what is communalism? Explain the main feature of communalism. Discuss the social economic condition of the women in our society. Has the political expression of gender division really helped? What is a secular state? Explain why India is a secular state and what is the federalism? What are the key features of federalism? Okay, what is Indian freedom? Uh, what is Indian Federation? What are the three lists of the Indian Federation? Or what makes India a great federation? Write down any four important features of Indian Federation. And what is decentralization? Why is the decentralization necessary in India? And what do you understand by the term Panchayati Ra system? What are the important features of the Panchayati Ra system? Okay, state seats are reserved for women in the local cell government. Seeing the, the position of women in India as well as the corruption in the polities, how far do you think, think this reservation will help? And explain the threefold distribution of legislature power between the union government and the state government. Okay, which... Who elect a block chairman or the block pramukh and what are his responsibilities? Why does the exact balance of the power between the central and the state government vary from one federation to another? Explain with the two examples. So explain the two achievements and, uh, and the two difficulties of local cell government in, in India. And what are the pressure groups and the movements? What are the public interest groups? And what are their functions? Describe any two features of the promotional pressure group in India. How are pressure groups influence the politics? Explain with example. Write down any four functions of the political parties in India. Describe the various challenges faced by the political parties in India. There are Next question. The multi-party system often appear very mishy and it leaves to the political instability comment okay political parties play a major role in the democracy give four points to justify this statement why is there is lack of uh, internal democracy within the political parties and who recognize the political parties in india and why have political parties failed to offer magnifying meaningful choices to the voter in the recent years and how can political parties may be reformed give any four points i don't any four challenges faced by the indian democracy and what is a challenge and explain the, the three challenges have before the countries of the world regarding the democracy uh, Explain uh, four ways to reform democracy in India. Mention the role of education to deepen democracy in India. Describe the role of an ordinary citizen in a democracy. Okay, what is a voter education? What is the role of civic education in electoral electoral education? Evaluate the importance of the voting in a democracy, and describe the. 
describe the contribution of the women's justice initiative in terms of of safeguarding of the right of women and highlight the five constitutional rights guaranteed in women in india describe the role of the government in in checking child abuse explain any four legal rights of indian women and describe the role of supreme court of india in checking the child abuse and punishing the offenders and mention special provision for person with the benchmark disabilities mention the provision regarding social security or health rehabilitation rehabilitations and recreation provided under the act to persons with the dis uh, person with the disabilities to define the feminist movement give example why is india still a patriarchal society what was the provision of the hindu code bill define the communalism right to any two ideas basis of communalism and what is the 42nd amendment act 1976 based on define casteism name the major religion of india when was the word secular added to the preamble of our constitution define the term feminist the mention any two problem faced by the dalits in our society explain the sexual division of labor and what were the gandhi ji view to religion define federalism what is the unitary system of government what are the two main objective of a federal government give any two example of the union list and give any two example of the state list give any two example of the concurrent list what does the eighth schedule of the constitution say define the centralization name the three tiers of the tier system of the panchayati raj system what is a gram sabha or the gram panchayat and what is the panchayati samiti and write down the important feature of the panchayati raj and what is municipal corporation what is the head who is the head of the municipal corporation what is the municipal council who is the head of the municipal council and which country follow coming to the style of the federalism name style which enjoys special powers in india indian federal setup and which city experimented with a direct democracy in the brazil name four new states formed recently named named the two amendment which give legal status of the to the locus to the local self government in india and name the official language of the indian union which indian language were included in the eighth schedule in 2003 what is who is the mayor and what is the popular name of the ruler government what is the major differences between a federal form of government and a and a unitary one give an example give two reasons for decentralization of power name the top uh, institute name the top tier institution of the panchayati raj in india what are the two kinds of the pressure groups and interest groups in india write down the full form of the a a i t u l i n t u c f i c c i c t i b a m c e f n b a and what is the student union of the congress party called and explain the meaning of the phrase like interest of the groups and the lobbies and name the four student organization in india explain napm name a few pressure groups in india define the political party and what is the role of the opposition in a democracy what is the what is coalition government and what are the two major political parties of usa and what are the two main political parties of uk name the two countries that has one party system and who recognize the political parties in india what are the three types of the political party in india who was 
who was the founder of the following political parties INC CPI NCP and PP AIIC and RID what is the difference between a national party and a state party and differentiate between the ruling party and an opposition party and what would happen in a situation if there were no political parties and when does a political party get recognition as a national party in india state any two challenges facing indian democracy what are the political reforms or the democratic reforms mention the two duties of an active and the part and party territory citizen or state any two reforms for making indian democracy more effective Okay, define the term democratic reform and what is the lacuna in the legal means of the political reform. Define unity in the diversity. Define the term democracy. What is the voting? Why is voting important? Then write down the full form of the ECI, CEC, EBM, and the NOTA. And what is ballot voting? And what is universal adult franchise? And who is what is the voter awareness of the observers who is the head of election commission and what do you mean by electoral manifest and what is omen justice initiative and ji so with this question i complete the sample paper of the civic social science so students please we will go through it very quickly and within one or two days and revise it and learn it and prepare for exam best of luck may god bless all of you and may god give you strength to uh, be courageous and take every question very easily and answer them thank you very much once again best of luck and please subscribe the channel so that you can get another second part in history of social science thank you very much once again